God, I've got some bloody talk. Oh my god, I've got coppers down here. There is a copper down here. Uh, luckily, I didn't uh, go very fast. Oh, please don't stop me. I'm not breaking the law, actually. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another fantastic day on planet Earth. This is the maiden run of this uh, thing that you've all been waiting for and it hasn't gone to plan it hasn't gone to plan at all uh, what happened was obviously I've got the winch on the front which if you can see it ain't there anymore uh, it didn't quite work <laughs> uh, I hate to admit it but the people who said as soon as you get on that and you try to pull up the stairs it's just going to dig in because of the, the rake of the, the rope and stuff and I should press that button there if I press that button there will it stop the lights I hate pressing the button I don't think I should have to but I'm going to have to because otherwise I ain't going to be able to get across what I'm doing at the minute is going ridiculously slow because of the copper being at the back behind me um, well that's number one and number two I need to make bloody sure that this works I wonder if I can get through here foot past clutter oh shit that's the trouble with bloody canic it's completely shut everywhere shut they've shut this road off and I don't know why so I'm gonna have to go back around this way anyway so I I had to I had to di ditch the winch purely because it didn't work it went badly wrong uh, basically as I was pulling it up the stairs, all it was doing was uh, digging in on the on the well of the stairs sort of thing, compressing the forks and that was the end of it. So I can't use the winch. So I've got... Because the bike was already down the stairs, or halfway down the stairs should I say, I've got no choice then because I couldn't get it back up because the winch don't work so I've now got to take it over to the lockup which is 17 miles away and I'm shitting myself because number one well don't really matter but the speedo don't work the app's playing up for some reason I don't know why um, what the friggin hell's going on here for God's sake. The app's not playing up, it's not playing very well on my new Android. Uh, it's Android 9. And it ain't bloody working, so I've got to look at that. So this is the maiden run, and it's a test ride, and I'm pulling 6 amps, and I'm doing not very fast miles an hour. I've got to get over, oh shit, I've got to get over to the lockup, obviously, and then I'm going to have to get a taxi back. I think this might take quite a while to get the speed. I don't want to push it. I don't want to push it. I mean, obviously, I can't get home there. I'm stuck. I've got to go there. So when I'm close there, I'll I'll try a few things there. I'll see how much see how much power it's got. I've got 81 and a half volts. Oh yeah, me being the dickhead, I fully charged the battery. Uh, went down a hill, and the BMS bloody cut out because it went over voltage. Right, rideability. Yeah, it's a motorbike. Oh, definitely, it's it's a motorbike. It swings. You can't, no, it's not nimble anymore. Definitely a motorbike. And I know some people have suggested, and I do appreciate the suggestions, they have actually suggested by putting a, a, like a, a hook or something on the bottom of the forks, um, so as I can change the, the angle of the pull. But I, I don't like doing that because that's then putting all the stress right at the very base of the forks and I never know what the hell's gonna happen. Why doesn't that speedo work? That's just annoying. The indicators work, not fitted. Hazards work, not fitted. Main beam works, not fitted. I've got cobweb in my face. I'm doing 2.7 amps miles an hour. Yeah, I don't think this is the sort of maiden that people wanted to see, but <laughs> needs must, you know. When I've tested it, like I say, 
when I get close to there, then I'll start trying it. But I really don't want to start either pedalling, what is it, about three miles home, or pushing it three miles home, or then I've got about 13 miles to actually go. At 2.6 amps miles an hour. And I don't know what that knocking is. You probably can't hear it. I don't know if the stem's loose or the bearings are... Maybe I've put the wrong bearings on. And I spent about 12 hours yesterday just going through absolutely everything to make sure everything was working perfectly and all connected and working and connected. I'm going. What the hell was that crunch then? I hope that was somewhat settling because that was quite alarming. Oh look, a cycle path that's about 20 foot long. I don't know what the time is because I ain't got my glasses on. I don't know how far I've been because I ain't got my glasses on. I don't know how far it is because I ain't got my glasses on. I don't know how much power I've used. I've got 200 million ampere hours left. Wow, I've got 50 million amps left, ampere hours left in the battery now. Don't, don't, look this way, there you go. Something needs to do with this suspension, don't half need true uh, tuning. It really does. It's rather bouncy. Holy shit! My god, that's got some plug and talk. Oh yeah, did you know the speedo in your car is wrong? I can guarantee the speedo in your car is wrong. Because of some, I think it was an EU legislation that was brought in that a speedo is not allowed to read over the speed that you know, slower than the speed that you're going. So all manufacturers decided then, well, we ain't taking that bloody risk. So they reduced the speed by something like about, I think it's 6% I read. Some people say 10%. So your speedo is wrong. If you've got a GPS speedo or something like that, you have a look at the difference. Good thing about not having a mirror, I can't tell if anybody's sitting up my ass. Yeah, somebody's sitting up my ass. Bloody hell, that's got some bloody power on it. Incidentally, just for the test ride, I've limited it to 100 amps. So if it goes over 100 amps, well, it ain't my bloody fault, it ain't my doing. And these handlebars are so much more comfortable than the other ones that I have. The other thing I've been considering for a while is starting dating again, because I'm getting lonely now I've done this. Uh, so there's going to be some fantastic stories and some advice on how not to have uh, your first date because I am a master, a master at cocking it up. You know those moments where they say check please, well that usually happens in the first, first 30 seconds of me on being on a date. And we're doing 15 and a half miles an hour plus 7. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to reveal the name of the bike because on Patreon I, uh, I put out a questionnaire or a competition thing and I, I nearly got banned from Patreon they told me to remove the post because we don't do competitions on here but the competition was to name the bike and a man in Russia came up with the perfect name the perfect name can you see it? It's a Cremaster. The Cremaster is the muscle that tightens your bollocks, basically. I really want to open this up. 20... Oh, I don't know what the amps is. I'll tell you one thing, in comparison to version 2, this thing is so much smoother. It's so smooth. All these bumps, I used to feel every single bump in the road. If you dropped a pin, I'd know it was there. People, I know, running over people, bloody hell, they used to fly in the air, but now, oh, I won't even know they're there. Oh my god, that's, that's about a quarter of a 
Bloody hell! I'm doing uh, uh, 15 and a half miles an hour with knackered head bearings. Oh, I'm made of steel. I'm f***ing hard, I am. <laughs> uh, just a word of warning as well. Um, if you're a dickhead like me and you charge your battery fully and then you go down the hill and your BMS uh, cuts out, it makes a hell of a noise because I don't quite understand why, but the Sabaton uh, obviously completely powers off and then when the BMS comes back online because the back wheel is probably still spinning yeah, it, it bloody shocks you it really does shock you because what happens is um, as the Sabaton comes back online when the BMS resets itself uh, because the wheel's probably turning it goes into regen and it makes a right bang See, I can, I can deal with one handed with this, I couldn't do it on the other one. Jesus fucking Christ, you're breaking down! Oh, beautiful countryside, beautiful weather, beautiful day. It's officially well, the second day of summer. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. What a shit we have, man. Oh my god, that's got power. That has got power. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm lost for words. The acceleration, the front end, I do. 30 mile an hour and the front end was lifted, no problem. Have I got cars behind me? Nope. Jesus fuck! I've got a hard on! Anyway folks, um, I'm probably about 3 or 4 miles from the lock up now, so I'm going to bid you farewell and I'm going to say goodbye for the first maiden run. Well, it's the only maiden run. There's going to be a lot more, don't worry. Uh, and I've got a lot of tuning to do and I've got to increase the power and everything else. So there is going to be some more coming. And I'll catch you next time. And remember, life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. Get out there, enjoy it, and f*** what anyone else thinks.